This year we're syncing over 200 channels of light to a particular track or a few tracks. The first one we're doing is Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies. This is the one we'll put up on YouTube and on most of the websites. Uh, it's produced by thegroovegallery.com right here in-house. And the beauty of that is that I don't have any copyright worries because I've already had a couple of my tracks kicked off YouTube because we've used commercial music. So we have some 200 channels of light connected up to these circuit boards around the house. It's all programmed by this software here from Lightarama. And as you can see, uh, it, it looks interesting. And uh, if I flip down here, you'll see there's lots of bright colors and there's little segments occupied by colors. But if I go up here to the left-hand side, you'll see every channel of light is detailed. So I've got the roof, uh, various sections of the roof. And then I move down and you can see that I have snowflakes there. Now these are the snowflakes over here last year. They were yellow and they cascaded down. They were made of rope light, but this year we've changed them to LED. We then have things like the double garage, the big window all across the front of the house. I've got a wreath that I separate into eight sectors and it will be running around in a circle. For the first time this year, I've called these stars and they will be on a chain that runs from here to the roof, the left side, the right side will run from there and they'll be floating in the wind and just attached to a piece of wire. A fair bit of cabling involved there, some 43 meter strands by 12, what's that, 500 meters times by 350, there's about two kilometers of cable on that. And we get down here to the arches, the arches are interesting because in order to get them to pulse, and if I just expand this, you can see here that these pretty little pictures actually mean something. So if I press the play button here, the cursor rolls across and you can see that they pounce up and, and move in that fashion. But to get a real idea of what that looks like to the punter on the night, you press this little button, gives you an animation. And as you can see, here comes the arches. They flick backwards and forwards. At the same time, I've got these green poles that are going up and down. And the way you program that is you say, right here, I'm going to separate this arch into eight sectors. So over here, this is arch number one, two, three, and four. So I'll separate them into eight sectors. And I'll run one sector of 10 metre cable there. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I say, right here, I want arch number one, sector one, to play there. And then it goes to sector number two, and that will give me that backwards and forwards bouncing movement. If I go further on into the track, I change the look a little bit to that. So what does that look like there? If I press this button, you'll be able to see. So now we've got, and that now it runs like a little bouncing ball. So that's some 200 channels of light. It's all set to go. We've nearly finished this song. We'll do a couple of others closer to when we start. Mm, about the 9th of December, we'll be having a little test run and a media launch about December 3, I think, if things go to plan. It all looks good for a great Christmas lights 2010.